Hey everybody, Sue here at Sands Company Jewelers. Hope you're all doing well out there. Uh, just wanted to give you a little mini lesson on how we use a jeweler's loop. Um, you see it in the TV, on the movies and stuff, and you're seeing everyone bring it up to their eye and it seems pretty natural, but there's a couple tricks uh, that I thought I would show you today. Uh, first, we're gonna start out with the uh, magnifier, the lens itself. I uh, just want you to know that this is a triple corrected lens and most jewelers should have this kind of lens. It's three lenses sandwiched together and um, it it's a self-correcting lens but it also corrects for color which is very important when you're purchasing a diamond or a more expensive uh, gemstone like sapphire. Uh, so though that's an, it's important to actually um, be able to see the color correctly. Um, what you notice right away that I took off my eyeglasses because I'm actually much more comfortable using the loop without eyeglasses. And people ask me all the time, do I keep them on or off? It doesn't matter because it's the focal length that's going to help you see into the to the diamond. Um, so another thing I see a lot of guys are wearing a ball cap when they're looking for diamonds. And that actually is cutting down the light a lot. So you don't really want to wear a ball cap. Um, another thing I see people do is they, they look, they kind of hunch down, and they're cutting off all the light. Obviously, light comes from above when you're indoors. So that definitely makes a big difference. So glasses, it doesn't matter on or off. Um, but definitely, um, you want to almost like, I do put my elbows on the table, it helps me brace a little bit. Um, but the one thing, a um, couple things, uh, is that when you bring the lens up to your eye, I actually have my thumb on my cheek, and that's going to help it be steady, because we're trying to be as steady as possible. And then I bring the item up. And you can see right away that the item is about an inch away from the lens. So um, when you're doing that, it feels a little awkward. It feels like it's in space and you don't think that you'll be able to see in it. It doesn't matter how good or bad your eyes are. This lens is going to help you see it's 10 power. Um, so, but one thing I tend to do is I make like a little tripod. I have these fingers together. And I already have the item an inch away, and I bring the whole tripod, so to speak, up to my eye. And that way it's not all over the place, and you're trying to keep it steady, and you can't see inside of there. We really want you to see what's in, in the stone, for sure. So that's one thing I have of my little tripod all ready to go, and that is very helpful. And we, uh, a lot of people are going to be looking at stones when they're loose. So we actually have these really special tweezers. They're side locking tweezers, and they have and they hold up a lot a different a lot of different stone sizes. But uh, they slide it, they lock it into place, and you can see that it's not going to pop out of there. Although occasionally, if you've shopped here, you know, <laughs> you know, a lot of people want to squeeze the tweezers because they don't want it flying out. Well. Squeezing it will make it fly out, and then we're all on the floor. <laughs> well, maybe not you, but we're on the floor looking for that diamond. So, um, so you don't have to squeeze these; it's, it's locked in there. So again, even with this, I kind of hold it closer to the tip, and again, my little tripod, and it's about an inch away. And oh, there we go. See, even I had to make a little adjustment. And I even turn it around and they can look at the back side and the front side. Uh, one thing, I don't know if you've noticed, I've actually kept both eyes open when I look at the gemstone. Um, that actually helps you prevent eye strain. I mean, we do this a lot, so we don't want to do that. But it, it's not going to hurt the focus. You, it won't inhibit you from seeing into the diamond if you close one eye. So that's not any kind of a big deal. But just a quick little lesson. And again, hope you're all doing well out there. And we hope to see you soon. All right, take care. And thank you so much for watching.